Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and I have a lot of friends and family who love computers. They are big techies. And if you guys have any friends or family or that special someone, here is a fun idea. Today we are going to be making computer keyboard chocolates. Let's get started. The things you will need will be a bowl of melted chocolates, keyboard mold. I found this online, so I will put a link down below if you're interested in getting one. Candy cups. I found these at Michael's. You'll also need a keyboard. I live with a bunch of gamers, so we have a lot of spare keyboards hanging around the house, but you can also go to a local thrift store and get one for really inexpensive. Just make sure to wipe down the keys before you pop them off. You will also need a heart-shaped chocolate box. You can find these everywhere this time of year. They're at every grocery store I've seen. And if you've previously received one of these as a gift, maybe last year, and you held on to it, this is a great time to repurpose it. Then to decorate, you are going to need scissors, pliers, flathead screwdriver, some glue, a heart cookie cutter, a pencil, and a bunch of markers. The colors I have are black, gold, silver, dark green, and light green and then a ruler and two pieces of construction paper. I've got red and green. Now let's put it all together. The first thing that we're gonna do is take your keyboard mold and we're gonna type a little love message. Okay, the real thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna fill our little mold with chocolate. What I've done over here, I've melted my chocolate and then I've got a little plastic baggie that I put in a cup so it'll be easier to pour in there. And I'm just gonna pour my melted chocolate into the bag. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now the trick is not to eat all the chocolate right now. So then we're just gonna take a little pair of scissors, snip the tip, pew, and then we're gonna fill in all the little keys. What I'm doing to make this process really easy is I'm gonna be filling in the keys individually, not filling in the whole tray, which is an option. You can fill in the whole tray so it comes out as a full keyboard, but I'm just doing it as individual keys so that when we pop them out, it will be really, really easy. Now that we're done with that, I'm gonna stick these in the freezer for about 15 minutes to allow them to chill and set. And while those are doing that, we are gonna decorate our little heart chocolate boxes. Wait, wait. To decorate, you're gonna grab your green piece of paper and your chocolate box, and we're gonna take off the lid, place it on top of your paper, take your pencil, and trace it. Now you're gonna take your pens and we're gonna draw motherboard designs all over the heart. I will upload a picture of the design that I came up with. I hope it's helpful, but you just have fun with it. You can do anything you'd like. All done with our little design. It's so cute, I love it, look. Bling, 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 bling. A motherboard. Now you're gonna take your scissors and just cut it out. Now we're gonna glue our design to the top of our chocolate box. You can use any kind of glue you'd like. And while that's drying, I'm gonna cut a little interior heart. I'm using a cookie cutter, go figure, but you can use anything that you like laying around the house. So you're just gonna trace it and then cut it. Now for the fun part, you're gonna grab your tools. I've got the flathead screwdriver right here. And we're gonna pop off some keys. The keys I want to pop off are the K, E, Y, and S. You just take your flathead, you wiggle it underneath the key. I'm gonna put it under the Y and then twist and they'll just pop off. Boom! Once you've got your keys popped off, you're gonna pick one up Flip it upside down. You're gonna use your pliers here and you're just gonna do a pinch and then twist off these little tabs. Once you've got your little keys all hollowed out, we're gonna take a hot glue gun and we're gonna fill them up so that they're level and then we're gonna stick them onto this piece of extra red paper so that when we glue them onto the heart, they will lay completely flat. Now that we've got all of our little keys glued down, you're gonna take your scissors and cut them out. Now that we got our little keys ready, I'm gonna take a little bit of my glue stick, glue them down to my red heart, and now I'm gonna be writing my little message. I'm writing, you hold the keys to my heart. Let me know if you come up with anything else that's fun and witty. Now that we've got our little red heart decorated, our little message, we're gonna glue it onto the top of our chocolate box. Right in the middle. Now our chocolates are ready, they have set, and we are gonna pop them out. This is really fun. So you're gonna flip your tray upside down, and sometimes you gotta wiggle them out. So don't be afraid, just really get in there and wiggle them. There you go. Pop, pop, 
just popped out all the little chocolates and now you're gonna take your candy cups and we're gonna fill them up and put them in our chocolate box. Ta-da! Here are the computer keyboard chocolates that we made today. Ooh, I hope you guys liked them. We decorated the front to say, you hold the keys, computer keys, to my heart. And then inside we have all of our chocolate computer keys. And I apologize in advance, I paired a few of these to be a little bit cutesy. So we've got the I and the U together, X and O, and less than three. I will be posting lots of pictures of what we made today on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. So you can go check out the photos there. And if you guys make these, please send me photos. I love to reblog them and repost them. I just love seeing your baking creations. I get a big kick out of it. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye, and happy Valentine's Day.